Okay, uh, just a quick video, sort of part two from my previous Nomad uh, review or overview Nomad 2 compressor. Um, so I'm actually filling up my uh, Reximex regime. Um, so I've got the compressor set up. I don't, I'm don't. i doing this in my garage. I don't normally do it in my garage. I normally do it up in my study where my guns are and I keep my compressor up there. But just for the purposes of filming and keeping out of the way of the wife, I'm doing it in the garage. Um, but I wouldn't normally do it here. So the Nomad is on. You might be able to just hear the faint hum of the fan. When you've got them plugged in and switched on, the fan is on automatically, a sort of background fan. Um, so I've connected my fill-in loop with its inline filter. I've connected it to the gun. Um, Reximaxes have got a, a, a built-in um, fill connector that the best fittings adapters just go straight onto, so you don't need an adapter. Um, it's at about... Let's have a look. So at about 120 bar, you can actually fill the Reximex to 250 bar, but I generally only fill it to just over 200, about 210, 220. Um, so I've set my gauge to just over 200, um, and now I'm going to switch on. You've got two switches on the Nomad. You've got a power switch. Um, so when you switch that on, that puts the main fan on. So you'll hear it kick in any minute now. There you go, so that's on. And then when you press the second button, it actually turns the compressor to pump on. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now what I do is I turn it on with the bleed valve open so the, the gun doesn't get a shock of pressure. And now I'm going to slowly uh, close the bleed valve, which will then start charging the gun. Now again, this is, you can probably see, this is, uh, this is shaking quite a bit. Um, because it's on my chair in my garage. Um, I'm gonna move it away, so hopefully you can still hear me. Um, they're not that noisy. Um, I'd say they're sort of on a par with a, with a vacuum cleaner. Um, and normally when I have it on the floor in my study, it's not shaking like that. It's obviously only shaking because it's on this chair. Um, let's just see, make sure the gauge and the gun are, are going up. Yeah, it's filling up nicely. Um, you also have a load. On the top of the unit, you have a load gauge, which is normally, they recommend it's, it never goes beyond 30. Um, it's actually on 22.5 at the moment. I'll show you. Yeah, so that's on 22. It goes up. It normally goes up to about 24, 25. Um, when it's been on for a few minutes, obviously the longer you leave it in, leave it on, the hotter it gets, and, and presumably the more of a load goes on it. Um, I'm not going to leave this video running because it takes, it normally takes about four or five minutes to fill this gun, so it's pretty boring for you just standing here watching the compressor shaking for five minutes. Um, so I'll turn the video off now, but that's basically the Nomad 2 in operation. Uh, when it gets to the required fill level, it shuts itself off. Um, it's as easy as that, really. Okay, thanks, bye.